Hey folks, it's Rob, and this is Hand of Fate. And as you saw by the title, this is a Let's Try series. So, a part of my Let's Try series. So th in this one, I'm going to be trying this without ever having actually played the game or seen what's inside. Uh, <clears throat> it's pretty typical. Uh, my understanding is that this is essentially a hybrid card game, roguelike, and brawler. I guess a lot of the expression of the procedural generation comes from uh, comes through the cards. I have followed this through easy early access development, but it has left early access this week, very week, and uh, I felt it was time I I jumped in. So it's going to be interesting. We'll have a look. Now, first off, we're going to press start. And when I press start, there's going to be uh, my understanding of intro video, so we'll just let that play. Why don't we? Let's go. Ah, one more for the game. Come, sit. You have passed the thirteen gates, and you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here, yet I say, turn back. Well, it seems to be glitching through his hair. That's a bit of a shame. Back so soon? I knew you would not falter. What do you mean, back so soon? I haven't left. Okay, so, quite attractive this. I like the premise, a lot. The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Okay. So, spacebar to continue. Okay, click there to continue. Here is Jack the first dust. member of my court. The Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. Okay. The bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unlockable, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. In the ruins of an ancient temple, among the eternally shifting sand dunes, lives the mysterious leader of the desert bandits. Infamous for his reign of terror over any spice caravans that dare take their chances traveling through his domain, he rules like a king over the barren lands. So you can see there's a bit of lore there. I like that. Let the cards fall where they may. So we begin. As you can see, the cards have been expressed into like there's gear cards and there are uh game encounter cards, like you can see here, and <clears throat> there are even equipment cards and, you know, status cards. Let's go you can always game. review your cards here. So I have a weapon, a rusty axe, uh, we have some light armor, no blessings or curses, no helms, no shields, no artifacts, no trinkets, and no gloves. Um, that seems fine, I guess. We don't have any ch options, really, at the moment. So, I'm moving my piece on here. This is kind of how the dungeon is generated. You have... I get to move based on the choices presented by the cards adjacent. And each move costs a food off of my inventory. Uh, so think of it as kind of as a day travel, and that's the day's encounter. And these cards will be laid out differently. And one of these cards will be the escape the level card, or possibly the end of the level, the boss. And <clears throat> if it's the end of the level, a new level will be generated from these cards over here and laid out before me in possibly various different ways. There won't be very many cards out at any given point, is my understanding. Uh, but that's kind of how this is expressed. So I'm going to have a look to see if we have any options. I'm going to escape here. Oh, yep, we do. I'm currently using mouse and keyboard. Um, right, so usual WASD, mouse for attack, 
stun, and then counter is Q. Right, okay. May want to fiddle with that. Dodge is space. Weapon 1, weapon artifact. And then we have escape, inventory, page up, page down. Okay. Um, it also supports gamepad. I don't have a controller attached at the moment, but if I choose to do so, we could use a controller. Vibration is enabled for it, but I'm going to disable it because it's not attached. Uh, why have it enabled? I don't know. Um, settings. Let's see. Graphics. This is at 720. Hmm. It should be 1080. Uh, I'm not going to fiddle with it at the moment. It does seem to have identified my card simple enough. It's a, it is a 7800 series. Um, the... We have it on good. It's a Unity Engine game. You know, so you got the usual beautiful, fantastic, simple, fast, you know. We do have some options to choose from here. As you can see, it was actually, like, changing some of these things as we went. Um, my graphics card's getting a bit old. What can I say? Uh, language is in English. We do have other language support. Deutsch, Spanish, French... I think that's Greek, uh, that's Hungarian, and I think that's about it. Uh, we can reset our progress, because it is an ongoing game. As we beat bosses, we'll go on to face new bosses. Things will get harder. Um, <clears throat> we have credits, and that's it. There's a leaderboard, and I can quit, of course. And I can forfeit. So, let's resume. And we have one choice, let's go. Twisted Canyon. That first moment. That glinting weapon. The call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. Well now, as you can see, my food went down by one. I click the card. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. I think we should climb down and retrieve that weapon. So I have a chance of success, as you can see, 75%. Choose from these options. One card is a failure and three are successes. I will choose this card. I very, very carefully, you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. Draw one weapon card. So, there we go. And I get a sword. Which is nice. I can use that to replace the rusty axe. I will a moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. It is three points higher in attack strength than the Rusty Axe was. So, yeah, that's a good start. Now I can choose. As you can see, my token rotates depending on which one I have selected. I like that as a touch. Uh, let's go here. Stairs. Down once more, seeking the heart of it all. So I can take the stairs and leave the area. So let's do so. Your journey is well begun. This is what I was looking for. You show some aptitude for the game. <laughs> Perhaps this will not be as boring as I thought. Yeah, so he's here to kind of beat me, but at the same time... He's the storyteller, so it's... Mixed. Uh, it's like being a DM, I guess. Um... Right, so let's go here. Dead Man's Gorge. I'm sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. <laughs> While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush! So we draw a monster card. That's the Three of Dust. So that means I'll be fighting three enemy. Is my understanding, anyway. And, uh, the dust determines the type, so I guess it's gonna be, like, raiders? Bandits? Alright, so let's figure this out. So, okay, attack, stun, dodge, roll. I don't have a shield at the moment, so, okay. Uh, where's my mouse? I can't see my mouse. This is annoying. Uh, 
Most of the dodge are Ah. That's what we dealt with. Let's see if we can turn around, huh? Alright, that's a little extreme. The camera doesn't turn. down. You recover what you can from the dead. The dealer draws you three game cards. So I can draw I'm one I'm sure you're grateful for that. Axe, 25 attack damage, so that's better. We'll equip it. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, yes I am. Three food. Good. We can go on. And three more food. Okay. A traveling tinker. In a shady grove off a beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. I approach the shop. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. Uh, what gold? I We're have starting no gold. to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Well, maybe I can get some gold by selling some things. Because I have a rusty axe I no longer now need. A peasant's weapon, but effective nonetheless. And I have this spare sword I don't need anymore. The most fundamental symbol of might for an age. So, I would need 10 gold to buy the basic axe, but I already have a basic axe. Healing cap. Don't Increasing have the effect of one sort of magic with another. All you need is a channel for power, and it's simple enough. Okay, I can't mouse wheel. Oh, I can use arrow. Okay. Explorer's helmet. And, well, the sword, I just sold them, really. Um, so, I don't have any money for any of that. I could buy food. I have food. So, I'm gonna leave. Sorry. Don't, don't have enough cash. Alright, let's carry on. An Why ambush. Hardly fair, is it? Why, no. No, it isn't fair. Nah, it's fine. A tree falls across your path, blocking your way ahead. Dealer draws you one monster card. I attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten me. Give them all my gold indeed, even if it's only eight bucks. How else am I going to get loot if I don't smack the crap out of them? Right? Right. I can skip this, but as you can see, we're getting our equipment laid out on top of us here. I imagine as I get more gear, more things will be laid out on top of me. So as you can tell, I just basically spammed attacks there. Not the most elegant approach, but it worked. So, I draw one weapon card. So it's flipping through to find a weapon. An axe. Okay. Isn't this what I'm already using? No, I've equipped rusty axe. Yes, I'd like to equip the axe. Really, I did all that with my rusty axe? Let me see the inventory. Weapons. Axe. Right. Mm, okay. Right, whatever. Moving on. There's Jack of Dust. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child. Kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. I guess he's special because he's got this mark down here, but also I know he's the boss. So, 
This is going to be the end of the encounter. This token will maybe. unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. out of Jack of Dust and his four minions. Well, ain't that nice. Okay, Jack. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter. the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face eleven more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle. None reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. Well, it is a game, after all. Well, okay. We won. Let's activate the token. Jack of Skulls. Dead King's Hall, Local Peasant, Devil's Choice, River, Captain of the Door of the Guards. Medium Armor, Chains of Rage, Mercenary Contract, Medium Armor, Fortitude's Breath, and Desperate Measures. Bandit Attack, Maze of Traps, Goblins. Shall we deal again? Right. And so, now I'd have an opportunity play against the next boss. And fight with new opportunities and new cards and new equipment as we go. And my health will reset and the starting level, I'll be back to the starting equipment and gold and um, food. Ah, good. Now you understand the basics. We can begin in earnest. Your hero is returned to his beginning items. Our decks are reset. Welcome to the cabinet, home of the members of my court. So we have a story mode and an endless mode. I suppose I unlock the endless mode by beating them. And so for my next opponent would be, you know, this guy. I could pro maybe fight him again? I don't know. Can I? Yeah, I can fight him again. Okay. So if I just feel like doing that again, maybe seeing what new encounters might come up, I can do that. Make your back? choices. Alright. 
Three times two of skulls and three supplies. Time for you to face my undead army. Right, so Meet the Jack of Skulls. There's a deck builder element. Would you like to use recommended equipment and encounter deck? So I can do that. Or if I feel like fiddling with it. These are the things I know about. And I can throw them in the deck. So like instead of this shield, I could have no. I could have this shield. Right? And let's say instead of this sword, I put this thing called Desperate Measures in there. And instead of the healing cap, I don't know. Let's say instead of this shield, I put in medium armor. Like, some of this I don't even know what it does. Like, what does Mercenary Contract do? I have no idea. I'll have to use it to find out. Like, this card is new, and thus its contents are unknown. Find a card in play during a secrets will be revealed. Uh, music. Let's turn that down a little. I should have done that a while ago. In fact, I should turn the subtitles on. It didn't seem to make much of a difference, did it? Uh... Okay. So, yeah, we have various weapons and armor here. And in fact... Let's... Mm. Let's throw back these axes, right? And throw in some stuff I don't have, like this contract and the chains of rage. There we go. And I could have two more in here. So, okay, let's make sure we have our axe and let's put the other medium armor in. Okay. And the encounters... Right, so we've had Winding Trail. Let's throw that out. Let's put it in River. We've had Dead Man's Gorge. Let's throw that out. Let's put it in Devil. Let's put it in Dead King's Hall. And we've had Ambush. Let's throw in Local Peasant. Right? Everything else I haven't even run into yet, so I might as well leave it in. And we'll, oh, we got one more card space, so let's put Devil's Choice in. Since those are all new. Right. So. It's considered sufficient on either side. So I guess that's fine. Um, yeah. So we can go back from here. And we can start the game. I will add my own cards to the deck. How boring life would be without a little spice. Yeah, I don't get it all my own way, apparently. He throws his bits in, too. Play for life and death. Prepare yourself. Right, so I'm back to the rusty axe. Lovely. And light armor. There's the river. Running water protects against many things in myth. Generally, though, it's just a pain to get past. <laughs> Your path is blocked by a river. The water is clear, but fast moving. I have no real choice but to attempt to cross the river. So we got success, success, huge success, and failure. I go with this one. Your light armor makes the crossing relatively easy. You reach the other side, cold and wet, but unharmed. I, however, did not get the token. I guess I need huge success to get the token. Uh, right. 
I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, Mr. I'll make an exception. Mr. Lionel. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. Hence the mustache. <laughs> his wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel! If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, then sits patiently waiting for your answer. Give him the bread from your plate. I don't have 20 gold. Or ask him what he needs. I'll ask him what he needs. Need? I need to help you! Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground and shield and materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean! He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellowed teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Why that came out I cannot expect well. you to get by without some protection. Shields with this trait allow the hero to reflect projectiles back at their attacker. This must be performed with precise timing as the projectile draws near. Press the Q key to reflect projectiles. Look for the green indicator above the hero's head. Weapons with this trait allow the hero to counter foe's attacks. Look for the green attack indicator above foe's. Press the Q key to counter. Okay. You but can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Then, before you can stop him, with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. Well, he can have my pickled onion. Thank you very much for the shield. Let's go to my inventory and make sure that's equipped. Okay, good. Right, let's carry on. Oh, it lives in every game. That initial moment where things begin. I have worked on these cards all my days, and the canyon has been there from the outset. Hmm. So I get to do this again, I guess. Let's try to climb down and retrieve it. Okay. Which one? Where is the, where's the queen? Who knows? Which one? Success! So we draw a weapon card. It's a sword. Uh, no, I would not like to equip the sword. Actually, I would like to equip the sword. What am I thinking? How do I equip it? Equip. Okay. Excellent. That leaves one card left. Every step you take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. I am aware of that, thank you. Up the stairs, please. Many have reached this far. Further, in fact. I do not know if you have what it takes to do better than they did. Well, thanks. Maiden. Fair Merith. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. I haven't met her before. What are you talking about? One day in a shabby, fo shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. I'd like to be in a shabby forest. She stops to greet you. What boon would you ask of me? I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. All right, let's ask for supplies, since we're only down to five food anyway. This bread will sustain you for many days. Dealer draws you two food game cards. Excellent. The greatest of magical artifacts were forged long ago and have only limited uses before their power is spent. Use them wisely and they may guide you to victory. Farewell, mortal. So... What's this one? Maze of Traps. A cave? 
traps, and the hope of treasure. It's all I could ask for, and more. Yes, I will enter the cave. What kind of adventure would I be if I didn't enter the cave? Oh, it's like this. Well now. Now we begin to raise the stakes. The arena itself will fight against you. Beware of my traps. Okay. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. Well, it'll be interesting to see how if I can actually block an attack from this side of thing. Um... Well, that looks like a spike trap to me. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> going to be a magical attack? I think so. Alright, spikes. More fire. Captain roll, dammit! Alright, kind of just kind of down through like that. There we go. No, they're not breaking. Oh. Oh. Not paying attention, Rob. There we go. Hey! Like a mouse to the cheese, damn it! Three game cards. Fifteen gold. Twenty-five gold. Another fifteen gold. And the token is mine now. The token is yours. Well done. It says right there. Right. So now we have cash. Hey, it's a shop. What timing. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. We approach the shop, goddammit. Right, so, sell. Eh, got nothing to sell. What shall I buy? If I can buy a regular shield, I can buy medium armor. Go and buy my playstyle, medium armor might very well be a thing. Desperate measures. It's 48 bucks. Mace inflicts more damage the lower the health of the wielder is. And it's holy. Healing cap. Any healing that the player receives is doubled. Yeah. Alright, let's buy desperate measures. I'm impressed. Few select these sorts of weapons because nobody ever anticipates being in peril. Such misplaced confidence is usually their downfall. <laughs> I would like to equip it. Interesting choice. Now, if I sell off the sword, that gives me three bucks, that gets me ten. That's not quite enough to buy the medium armor, unfortunately. And I don't dare sh sell the shield, you know? I already have a shield, so I could heal wounds, but I'll heal that five points on my next move. I could buy food, but I have nine food. So we'll keep the money we have. Um, I can certainly sell the, the sword, and so I will. Great we'll men wield great swords, swords of myth and legend. For you, this will suffice. <laughs> so okay, let's head on out. Ten gold left in my pocket and a new weapon at my side. But I will double check the equipment. 
Yes, okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Let's go on. As you can see, the health healed up anyhow. Captain I always the guard. thought it was best to avoid the problems of others. I see you have no such concerns. There's a token in it for you if you win. You hear a shout from up ahead and the sounds of battle. Racing forward, you discover a warrior surrounded by undead. Ooh, four skulls. Broken bones leer the area around the man, but there is still more closing in on him, and he appears badly injured. Stranger! He calls out as he throws his weapon to you. Here, take my mace and put an end to these monstrosities. Well, it's a nice It's mace. a lump of iron on a stick. Not terribly subtle. <laughs> it's a nice mace compared to the sword I was using, but you know what? My weapon does more. <laughs> Are you sure that's the right approach? Why, yes, I am sure. Because my weapon's holy as well. Okay. Let's go beat him. Alright, I gotta press the Q to do that. It's like Batman Arkham Asylum. dagger through your eye. That was good. Yeah. Good work putting him to rest. Keep the mace. We have enough back here at Becca Cabere, he says, slowly standing. We've been hearing reports of undead in our kingdom recently, and I came to investigate. He stops to look at, around at all the bone fragments. More of them here than I suspected. Some new horror must have just decided to settle in these parts and brought its minions. I must head back to the capital and report this to the Duke. Watch your step, friend. There's something more powerful at work than just these skeletons. Card token is now mine. Excellent. Excellent. Now, is this going to be the boss? No, it's the stairs. Head downwards, if you dare. Down, you say. I take the stairs. Good. Now all you need to do is find and kill the Jack of Skulls, and we can progress. Well, it's a linear path. Devil's choice. I like this demon. He lies as often as he tells the truth. A cloaked devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your might, so-called hero. Choose your foe. Well, I can choose three dust, two skulls, or two skulls. But this two skulls has a little something on it. Why, well, I choose the one with a little something on it. More skeletons for you to deal with. Besides, i got a holy weapon. I want to beat the crap out of skulls. I don't know what the little marker means, but I guess we'll be finding out. Maybe it's elites. Hopefully I'm a match for them. Okay, come on. dead. Without harm. Excellent, the devil cries. You've passed my cunning test. Have some treasure. Perhaps next time our paths cross, I will kill you myself. Dealer draws you three gain cards, and the token is now mine. Five food. One of my cards. A small benefit. I will not be so graceful for long. Armory, draw one. 
Chains of Rage. An excellent way to turn an injury into an asset. Strikes that stain from bows and wands have a chance to restore your cooldowns. Excellent. Yes, so we'll equip that. Armor protects you from damage. The best armor, of course, does so much more. And three more food. Considering I have four steps ahead of me, I am now well, more than well equipped with food. Traveling mage. Another merchant. I approach the shop. Not that I have much coin. We'll uh, skip the uh, resident resolving in kind of thing. Uh, what do you got? Dragon ring. All dragon relics are equipped. Receive plus 50% max health and full healing after every combat. But we probably need all the dragon things. Hernie's antlers. Uh, that, okay, a little glitch. The card didn't flip over. Okay. Plunderer's cap. When you draw supplies, instead of draw two and pick one. Oh. And hags wraps. Each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent, which sounds pretty awesome, actually. Lizard men take double damage from players' attacks. Right. I don't have enough cash for any of this, of course. I expect I can only sell a few things. I can sell this ma this mace. Perfect for bludgeoning the undead. And the rest of this gear I'm using. So that's fifteen bucks. But I mean, what am I going to spend it on? All right. So let's leave. Dead King's Hall. Greed. If it were not for greed, then who would play at this game? You see an ancient, ornate coffin in the main burial, burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but it will surely be guarded. Two monster cards. Well, it's dust and skulls. Attempt to take them by surprise or sneak away. I attempt to sneak them by surprise. Huge success or utter failure? What will it be? Uh, where's the queen? Where's the queen with the one eye? Oh, failure. You are spotted as you approach and the creatures re ready themselves for combat. Crap. I wonder if I'll get the token anyway, if I beat them. I don't know. We'll find out. Imagine I'll be able to take care of the skulls quickly enough. The robes will be a little more of a problem. Alright, boys. Is my preferred way of fighting anyway. Thank you very much. Oh, I do get the token. Right. I get three game cards. One equipment. Axe. Are you a woodsman turned warrior now? Eh. No. Ten more food. What am I going to do with ten more food? Three more food. Take the token. It is yours. Well, thanks. At least got the token out of it. Bandit attack. Our bandits are displeased with your challenges. A group of bandits suddenly attacks. The King of Dust isn't happy about you killing his men. So, got to kill more of his men. All right, let's go. That went well. That went really 
really well. It makes me look like I'm really skilled when I'm not. What can I say? One game card. 30 gold. Yay! I'm sure you're grateful for that. Well, only kinda, because, I mean, the gold doesn't build up between rounds, so... This is bound to be... the boss. Yeah. Jack of the Skulls. Undead. Of all the players in the game, these are the most dangerous in the world, yet in no natural form. A wrongness. An error. Cheating. This tenacious undead is unusually difficult to lay to rest. In addition to sheer strength, this skeleton has power to receive or revive recently defeated skeletons in its close vicinity. Serving as captains the squads of lesser skeletons, these unholy abominations strike fear into the hearts of all the warm-blooded folk. For until this fiend is defeated, their legions are effectively endless. Right. Win this and claim my token. Win this and I can end the video. Hmm. Two tokens. Right. Let's get clobbering. Me and my holy holy hammer of of justice ought to be able to deal with this. Jack of skulls. And in this corner, me. Shots from rifles cannot be deflected. You would do better to avoid them. Are you agile enough? <laughs> I'm out of, I'm out of, oh, I'm out. Alright, come on. Let's get over by where we need to be. Beat the crap out of us. Right, right. Well done, indeed. But you have roused the dead in their dusty tombs, and even I cannot say what will come of it. Now no. our wager becomes more interesting. Will the tools you've earned suffice to address the challenges I pose? That is the question, is it not? Okay. Maze of traps gets me scavenger's cap. Helping the captain of the guard, I get mace and mace. Okay. Surviving the devil's choice, I get devil's wager. Dead King's Hall gets me treasure chest. Defeating the skeleton jack, we get the crucible. Queen of Dust, Helpful Priest, Desert Storm. And for getting for beating Skeleton Jack, we get Helm of Reflection, Consuming Shame, Angel's Wing, Frostfang. Alright. Shall we deal again? And that's where I'm gonna leave the video. <sighs> I think I might do more of this. I'm not sure. Um, you know, I might do each boss as a chapter. Mm, yeah. So, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you have a great day, folks. And remember, if you liked what you see, a like, share, or subscribe, or comment, you know, all that YouTube stuff. I think you know what to do. You're not new to this. Bye.